a maglip. Right. Put on that silver and orange maglip. I had it on maybe maybe two minutes. Fish on. Thing has got great action. Of course, it's got that skip feed action. But uh, I was trolling along at uh, 1.8, and that was the uh, 2.5 inch maglip in an orange and silver pattern. Lots of flash, lots of vibration. Up here in the high Sierras, I got water that's about 44 degrees. So I wanted something I didn't have to troll super, super fast, but uh, something that, that would put out a lot of flash, a lot of vibration. And uh, can I say, it worked. Maglip seldom fails. You know, I used to really love flat fishing. You know, I still do, but uh, honestly, the maglip is a lot more versatile. Um, you can run it at higher speeds. It's just a, a much more versatile lure. Wow, that fish, is, that fish is putting up a fight now. There we go. Always working in reverse when I hook a fish in that side of the boat. On the maglip. There, we will get this guy back in. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. I just put out an issue of the Fish Differ magazine, so technically this is my weekend. So I'm running around out here in the yard. Lucy and I are playing some ball. I've been doing push-ups and uh, I got some chores to do too. But I wanted to take a minute to talk to you about a lure that is becoming one of my absolute favorites. I'm talking about the Yakima Bait Maglip. This is a Maglip 3.0, three inches long. This is a Yakima Bait 2.5, two and a half inches long. And uh, I use them a lot. And I almost never put these lures on when I don't catch a fish. If you're not using maglips, you should be, and let me tell you why. Now, when they first came out, even though they were designed by Buzz Ramsey, he's a friend of mine, he's a legendary Northwest angler and lure designer. Um, he catches all kinds of steelhead and trout and salmon and stuff like that. But when these first came out, I was skeptical. It looks like a flatfish. And I thought to myself, I already have a bunch of flatfish and I use flatfish and I love flatfish. Why would I want to buy more flatfish? Well, finally Buzz sent me some of these and I got to playing with them and uh, they are significantly different than flatfish. And I think overall, they are a much better lure, especially when it comes to trout trolling out. And, and here's why. First of all, a flatfish, a flatfish it's a slow speed lure. You know, in trout sizes, if you troll them much above, you know, like 1.5 miles an hour, they're gonna roll, they're gonna create a mess, they're not gonna catch fish, all they're gonna do is twist up your line. It's a slow speed lure. Number two, they work steadily. A flatfish has a steady cadence. If you don't vary the speed or move the boat, they're just gonna swim steadily through the water. And finally, Flatfish don't really dive. They'll dive a little bit, but if you top line out a flatfish 100 feet back and troll at one mile an hour, you're gonna be maybe a foot or two deep. That's it. Um, the maglip, on the other hand, one, they dive. This 3.0, if you put it 100 feet back on eight pound line and troll at two miles an hour, it's gonna be 10 feet deep. With the same setup with the 2.5, it's gonna be eight feet deep. So these plugs will get down on their own without adding weight, without lead core, without any of that, you're gonna be able to penetrate that top eight to 10 feet of the water column. Second, you can run them at a broad range of speeds. They have action if you troll them slow, but you can bump up to Rapala, you know, type speeds. Two and a half, three, three and a half miles an hour, and they'll still work. They won't roll. So that's, that's very versatile, and I love a versatile lure. Finally, these don't have a steady action. They track nice and true, but they have what Buzz calls a skip beat action, which means the lure's working and all of a sudden it pops out. The lure's working and it rolls out. The lure's working and it moves out. And that erratic action, it triggers strikes from trout 
and King Salmon that are following the plug but aren't committed. And uh, the reason I know it triggers strikes is because I catch a lot of fish in the maglip that are hooked outside the mouth. They're hooked in the gill plate. They're hooked near the eye. And that tells me they're following it. And when that plug rolls out, they react. It's a reaction strike. They grab it or they grab at it. They partly miss it, miss it, but they still get hooked. So that skip beat action, it triggers strikes and you're simply going to catch more fish trolling a maglip as opposed to trolling something like a flatfish. So if you haven't tried the maglip, give them a try. They flat out fish. Um, some of my buddies have caught tremendous fish on them. I haven't caught anything big on a maglip yet, but my buddy Rob Bundy, he was up at Shasta last year. He got a six pound brown on, on a maglip. Another friend of mine was down at New Maloney's. He got a, like a five pound rainbow on a maglip. I've caught a lot of pan sized trout on them and trout up to like, you know, two and a half, three pounds. But it seems like I almost never put on a maglip when it doesn't catch trout. And uh, I've caught other stuff on them too. I caught a catfish on one last year at Collins Lake. I caught a crappie on one. I've caught a bunch of bass on them. So if you don't have maglips in your tackle box, you should get a few, try them out. The 3.0 is good. It's a little large, but I like to fish for big fish. I think the most versatile one for the trout angler is the 2.5. So if you're kind of on the fence, you're looking for one, I would start out with a 2.5. And they are offered in like, 50 million colors. They're, they come in a whole bunch of different colors. Um, but I, I would lean towards the basics. You know, if you're gonna fish bait fish lakes like Shasta and stuff, I would go with a chrome version. Um, you probably want an orange version if you're gonna be up in the high Sierras or something like that. And uh, you can never go wrong with a uh, frog pattern, man. I love that frog pattern. They also have a, uh, a red frog pattern, which is really good too. So anyway, if you're looking for some new lures, um, you're at the tackle shop, you don't know what to get, grab some maglips and give them a try. I think you're gonna be pleased with the results. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I hope this helps you catch some more fish in 2020. I am out of here. I'm gonna, looks like Lucy wants to play a little more ball. So I'm out of here. Please hit that subscribe button. I wanna thank you guys for all the support. If you'd like to get alerts when I'm putting up a new video, hit that little bell looking thing down there and then you will get an alert when I've put up a new video. And of course, if you're looking for trout tackle, great gear at a fair price, the stuff that you see me fishing on the channel, click on over to the Fish Hunt Shoot Productions website and check out our store. We've got a lot of great gear in there. Anyway, once again, guys, thanks for all the support. You have a wonderful day. I'm Kel Kellogg and I will catch you soon right here on YouTube. Thanks, guys.